Hello everyone, welcome back. Before we begin, I've got a few things to say. First off, this is part two of a collab video on disturbing YouTube channels with my friend Dr. Disturb, who covers the most disturbing content you will ever see. So go subscribe to him. You can find the link to his channel and the link to the first part of this video in the description. I would recommend watching his video first and then coming back here. The next part is that only 1.5% of you are subscribed to me. So if you like what you see, then please consider subscribing. It's 100% free and you can always change your mind later. So without further ado, let's get into it. I first discovered this channel two years ago and I was immediately enthralled by its content. The very first video uploaded on this channel is called how I feed Alan, which seems pretty innocent, right? But it's the thumbnail that makes me uneasy. It appears to show a disgusting, horrifying blue baby monster. Upon clicking on the video, we hear a girl speak and she introduces herself as Daisy Brown. Along with this, she also introduces the monster who is called Alan. According to Daisy, Alan is blind and he can only process sugar. The video then ends with nothing really happening other than her feeding Alan a sugar tablet. Now, I would love to sit here and outline what happens in every single video, but I don't have the time. Maybe in the future I'll do a full analysis of the channel, who knows? But for now, let's stick to the most important parts. As you watch more and more videos, the story begins to unfold. A story of abuse, heartache, betrayal, lies, and deceit. Just a quick spoiler though, the events that take place in the story are not real. It's an alternate reality game, or an ARG for short, which is a mystery or story that a person makes on the internet for other willing internet users to solve. I also won't spoil the plot of this ARG for you either. So go watch it if you haven't seen it, because it is truly terrifying. This channel is another one I discovered a few years ago. Yet again, I was perplexed by its content. It starts with a man talking about how he's making the video on this game he found because nobody believes him when he tells people about it. He never directly tells us his name, but we know it's Paul because that's what he puts his name as. We then see that the purpose of this game is to catch pets by solving puzzles. The signs in the game are something to take note of too. Saying things like, when choosing a pet, find somebody that you like and that you don't have to love them right away. They also tell you, don't be discouraged if they run from you. They really do want a home. And then there's the alternate dimension dark world thing that Paul enters in episode one after following a specific set of instructions, which is where a lot of the stories of Petscop are told. Now, yet again, I would love to go through every single video, and I will definitely do something like that in the future. But sadly, this is all we have time for. So the true nature of Petscop and his unwrestled spirits will have to wait. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to give a big thank you to Dr. Disturb for collabing with me on this video. And if you still haven't seen part one, what are you doing? Go watch it. The link is in the description. Oh, and subscribe to us both because we're awesome. Thanks again. Bye.